Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel if you are returning. If you are new, my name is Raquel and I just want to say that I appreciate each and every one of you for your watch time, your views, or your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. They help me so much and I just want to let you know that I appreciate them. This will be a December 2019 monthly reading for you Pisces and this will not apply to every single Pisces out there as these are the most needed messages for your sign. I don't know why this card does not want to stay up there. There we go. <clears throat> also energy can be swapped. It is I am reading energies here not people because it is a general reading. Um, <clears throat> if this resonates with you, put yourself in the story however it resonates and um, let me know in the comments below. I really like knowing how I'm connecting with people and if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. All right, please keep in mind not to give your, your um, energy up to a reader. It is your choice and your choice alone to make the decisions that you make in life. These are just possible outcomes. The future is not set in stone. The outcome can always change depending on your free will. All right, so let's get into it, Pisces. Um, all disclaimers aside, when I was getting into your energy, Pisces, I heard, are you ready, really loud. And you know, the are you ready to rumble like song or whatever, I heard that really loud in my head. So some of you might be like, um, there's going to be something coming in for you, Pisces. I, and I feel like it's the universe asking, are you ready? Can you handle this? So you might be facing some challenges in December because it's the universe seeing if you can handle what the next phase of life is that they are giving to, or that you are about to enter into. For others of you out there, it could be that you know, December is just a very combative month for you. It's like people don't understand you. People are like, you know, far outside your <laughs> realm of thinking. All right. So let's see what the main message is for the month. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got two, but we're going to take the one that flew out. And let's see. Messages for a rabbit, service to the animal world. So yeah, so some of you with this are you ready um, that, I, that I heard in my head, some of you might be actually um, spiritually advancing to where you can communicate with animals. Just saying. Some of you out there are like that. Others of you, it's just saying, um, others of you could be having an animal come in, like a new pet, maybe a new cat, a rabbit, um, something of the animal variety. Maybe you pick up a stray somewhere. Um, but you're really being called to pay attention to animals, pay attention to the signs. The animals that you see quite often, maybe look up the meaning for seeing that animal, especially if it's an animal you haven't seen in a very long time or it comes like out of the blue, like, you know, you see a rabbit hopping around in the middle of the day or something like that, or you see, you see um, uh, geese when they should have already flown south or something like that. Um, so really look up the animal messages that you are receiving. And I also just heard taking off like a rabbit. So with the are you ready taking off like a rabbit. So it's like um, for some of you Pisces, you are ready and you're just going to get at it. You are going to go for what you want. You know what your dreams are, you know, and I keep looking back at this card um, spirit keeps bringing me back to this card because look how confident, look how confident this Pisces looks. That screams confidence right there. So some of you might be getting, um, my, 
your confidence might be upgrading or you're going to be really confident and sure ready to go for your dreams this month so let's break this down with the tarot and let's see what we can get for you pisces Spirit, my guys, what's going on with Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. Please and thank you, my soul family. All right, so the energy that you're in is the king of pentacles this is taurus like energy okay this is that determination this is that drive this is that are you ready some of you pisces could be saying to other people are you ready let's get at it let's get going come on let's get the move on um you know and with the rabbit right here on this card i'm i'm keep being drawn to the rabbit so it's almost like you take off it's like you're off to the races with whatever it is that you're trying to get done here. So that's your overall energy for the month, Pisces. Then we've got judgment. So this is like, you know, a call from the divine. This is like, you know, your spirit guides, your, your dreams, your intuition, everything telling you what you need to do here. You know, it's like, you calling up the spiritual hotline or the spiritual hotline calling you up. We've got the store, the star, store, star. <laughs> um, so this is like your desk with this along with judgment. I really feel like this is destiny taking place for you throughout the month of December. And it's like, you're ready to go for it. You know it, you know what you want and you're ready to go get it. We've got the tower coming out of December. So that is a sudden breakdown of something. Um, and I don't want to directly say what it is until I pull some more cards. But I feel like I feel like this is burnt being burnt out. Not um a big catastrophe coming. Just, you know, you're taking off for it. You're really going for it in the first part of the month. Um, toward, even towards the middle, you know, to last half, it's like, you're really racing. You're really going for it. You're feeling determined. I hear time, something about time. Like you need to get this done in time. And because of that, I feel like you, you're burnt out by the end of the month. We've got the 10 of pentacles influencing judgment here. <clears throat> So for a lot of you, this has to do with career. This has to do with um, coins or or um, a financial upgrade here. This is this might be you finding your true profession or your true calling. And it's like now you really want to get at it. You really want to go for it and get it done. We've got the three of wands clarifying the star so this is like all your hopes all your ambitions you putting everything in to your dream and it's like now because you've put in the work and you've put in the effort it's like the stars are aligning and you can get your destiny now you have the potential to reach your destiny now this tower yeah and then we got the nine of swords like i said i feel like this is burnt out this is burnt out energy. It's like you've gone so fast, so far um, with this. It's like, bam, the beginning of the month of December, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to go for. And you're going for it. You're earning that coin. You're putting in all the effort. You're going really fast, really hard into it. And then, you know, towards the end of the month, it's like your anxiety hits because you're like, all that speed, all that momentum that you had at the beginning of the month finally catches up to you. And you're like, oh, I don't know. Can I do this? Can I not do this? You're worried about it. And it's like that worry is making you burnt out. It's making you stressed. It's making you feel like um, this isn't exactly what you were meant to do. 
but it was. You got judgment here. It's just saying maybe pace yourself, okay? Maybe pace yourself through December so we can avoid this, okay? Spirit, my guides, how do these four energies connect for Pisces? Page of Wands, yeah, so some new passion, some new thing that you're starting. It also could be a fire, a younger fire sign coming in. But here I really feel it's like a new job that you're starting or a new career that you're starting or a new passion that you're starting. Maybe you're starting um, passion or, you know, in your love life. You're starting, you know, this is where you need to be at in your love life. But whatever the case may be, it's like you got the drive. You're bravely going for it. You know, you want to make that coin. And then we've got two of sorts. So maybe you rushed in a little too fast. Because um, with the two of swords here, it's like you can't make a decision. Especially when it's connected to this nine of swords. I feel like it's anxiety. Anxiety about if you don't make the right choice with your destiny, then um, you feel like you're going to fail or you're going to flunk, all right? You've put in the effort, and it's like now you can't really see which way you need to go, all right? You know you want to, you know you're, you can take the risk and you can go bravely towards this new thing that you, that is supposed to be yours because it's connected by, you know, judgment and the star, but it's like the efforts that you've put in, you feel like there hasn't really been any reward and it's hard for you to um, make the cuts. And I'm having, ever since I pulled these two cards right here, I'm having a lot of chest palpitations. It's like you're anxious, you're worried that this isn't what you're supposed to be doing. And because of that, you can negatively manifest a tower moment into your life. The trust, trust, trust. You've got judgment and the star right here, right next to each other. This is your destiny. This is where you're supposed to go. This is going to be financially gaining for you, okay? So there's, you know, you're going at it hard. And I feel like what happens is you go at it hard, but then a hiccup comes and then you feel like everything falls apart. Don't feel that way. Don't feel that way, all right? Because not everything's going to fall apart. You just need to pace yourself, Pisces. All right, so let's get your moon message. Whoa, that came out quite quick. We've got High Priestess of Air. Yeah, okay, so I feel like this is touching... I feel like this is touching on um, the end of the month here because you're all up in your logical head. You're not really um, feeling out situations like you normally feel out situations. It's like you're kind of, I, I get like you're lying to yourself here and you're being asked to dig deep. You know, you're being asked to logically think about why this is happening to you. Hmm. Nope. This, they're also saying, um, you need to stop and think. Because I feel like here you go for, forward with no plan bravely because you, this is what you want to do. This is what you know you're supposed to do, right? Um, but they're, the moon is telling you to stop and logically think. Before you go, before you proceed, pace yourself. Really take the time to think um, in the first two weeks of December uh, so that in the last two weeks of December, you're not in this nine of swords up in your head mode. Don't be off to the races. It's okay to be determined because you, you have that energy this month. But make sure that you're pacing yourself so that you don't get burnt out and you're, you're, you're planning, you're properly planning your next move or you're properly planning um, how you want to go about this new thing that you're bravely walking into, okay? All right, let's get some advice for you, Pisces. Let's get some advice. Spirit, 
Do we have some advice for my Pisces? For Pisces. For December. <laughs> I love how they just like to jump out at me. All right. Winter, take care of your needs. Yeah, so this is all about pacing yourself. This is about pacing yourself. And you need to pace yourself throughout the winter. Because I do feel like some of you are getting a spiritual upgrade here. I also do feel like um, there's going to be big things that are happening for you in 2020. And spirit is saying you need to slow down. Yes, this is the right passion. This is going to make you money. This is your soul's calling. This is destiny at work. You do have to put in effort, but make sure you're pacing yourself. Make sure that you're not like jumping into it without having all the facts, without gathering all the facts. All right. So I'm going to pull a love message for you, Pisces. Normally, <clears throat> I don't do these in my monthlies, but I thought it would be a nice little thing to add. Just an overall month... Um, just one card for your overall monthly in love. I will be putting out December love videos though that will go in will go in depth with. But this is just a little overview. So let's see what Pisces in love, what the overview is for Pisces in love. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so Pisces, if this is in romance, <laughs> if this is all they're talking about and, wrong, and it all has to do with romance here, um, in December, there could be a new person coming in towards the beginning of the month. I feel like maybe for some of you, you meet this person around an animal or like maybe an animal leads you to that person or maybe you see an animal and it like guides your eye towards a certain direction and there's a person there. Whatever it is, um, I feel like it's animal led. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but um, I'm sure it'll resonate with a ton with a bunch of you. So um, I feel like it's animal led here. Um, and what I'm also getting off of this is not to rush in it too fast. Um, spirit is saying, don't rush in it too fast because then you have the makings of getting trapped or blindsided by this person. You need to take things slow. You really need to have heart to heart conversations. You need to, um, go on a few dates. Don't rush into it so fast because if you rush into it too fast, your t your um, foundation is not going to be stable. You're going to have an unstable foundation if you run into it too fast or run into this love thing too fast. All right. It could be that your love interest is a Taurus or an Aquarius. And you know what? I think Aquarius got the Taurus like energy, did they? I can't remember, but I know that Aquarius got the, the judgment and the star. I'm pretty sure they did. So you might want to go back and watch Aquarius's reading, or if you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart, you might want to go ahead and watch that reading. But anyways, this is all I'm getting for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I like interacting. I like um, reading your comments. I like answering them or replying to them. Um, and go ahead and hit that subscribe and that like. Let me know. If there's anything you would like to see or any other content that you would like to see in my videos, please also share that as well. Well, until the next video, Pisces, I wish you all a very blessed December. And um, I hope that you get everything <laughs> that you deserve. It looks like you're ready for it. Okay? Until next video. Bye.